Hello friends, this video on fractions part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now talk about another two categories of fractions that is like and unlike fractions. Now can you guess what could be like fractions? Like means similar. So something which is similar to each other. Unlike things which are different from each other. Like how you see here, two twins who are wearing exactly the same dress. So they are like each other. Whereas two brothers who are like slightly younger and elder, so they are you know, not exactly like each other. So like fractions are those fractions which have same denominators. So let's look at some examples. So you think of 1 by 2, 16 by 2, 7, 89 by 2, 0 by 2. So anything, any number on the top divided by 2 would all fall under the category of like fractions. Okay, now let us talk about uh, unlike fractions. So what would be unlike fractions? Definitely the opposite, that is fractions with different denominators and that is why they are unlike. So things like 16 by 5, 9 by 8, 1 by 2, 2 by 3, these are all examples of unlike fractions. So 2 by 3, 2 by 5, 2 by 10, even though they have the same numerator, but since they have different denominators, so they are unlike fractions. So like and unlike fractions are only based on the denominator. So we don't care what the numerator is. We just check whether the denominators are same or not. Now, how do we compare fractions? How do we decide that which fraction is bigger and which fraction is smaller? So that is another very important uh, task. So let us see, how do we compare fractions? So let us first try to compare the like fractions because they are, you know, kind of simpler to deal with. So in this case, it is pretty simple. Let's say we look at the first example where we see 2 by 3, 7 by 3. Now the denominators are already same. So we just need to compare the numerators. So 2 and 7, out of these two, which is bigger? So definitely 7 is bigger. And therefore, 7 by 3 is bigger than 2 by 3. So the simple rule you need to remember is that the one with the bigger numerator is the bigger fraction. Provided we are dealing with like fractions. That is provided the denominators are already same. So we just need to match the numerators. Let's look at the second example. 101 divided by 30 and 2 divided by 30. So denominators are same. They are like fractions. Numerator 101 is definitely bigger than 2. Therefore, 101 by 30 is greater than 2 by 30. Pretty simple, right? Now, how do we deal with the unlike fractions? Now, it is a little complicated, but not that complicated as well. Because here, your denominators are different. So it is not that simple that you just compare the numerators and move on. So it's not like that. So we need to do certain things. So our first step would be to make sure that the denominators become same. Now you might ask, but the denominators are not same. How do we ensure that they become same? Of course, we can do something about it. We can convert it to equivalent fraction such that both of their equivalent fractions have the same denominator. Right? Now, how do we convert them into equivalent fractions? So for that, we take LCM of the two denominators. So which are the denominators here? 3 and 5. So we take LCM, that is least common multiple of 3 and 5. So least common multiple is basically a number for which 3 is also a factor, 5 is also a factor. So basically that number is a multiple of 3, it is also a multiple of 5. It's so common multiple of both of them. So we take the least common multiple of 3 and 5. So in this case, the least common multiple is 15. Now, how to find LCM, we have already discussed in one of the previous lessons. If you have forgotten that, so please go back to that lesson and revise. Okay, so once we have found out the LCM of these two, now what we do? Now our aim is to convert each of these fractions into a form where this LCM is the denominator. So basically now our aim is to convert this 1 by 3 into a form where the LCM is, where the denominator is 15. Similarly, to convert 2 by 5 into a form where the denominator is 15. So now what is that number which when multiplied by 3 gives 15? 5. So we will also multiply the numerator by 5. So this becomes 5 by 15. What is that number which when multiplied by 5 gives 15? 3. So we multiply the numerator also by 3. So we get 6 by 15. Now, do you have like fractions? So we have been able to convert the two unlike fractions into like fractions. 
but at the same time we have not altered their value because 1 by 3 and 5 by 15 they are the same thing they are equivalent fractions similarly 2 by 5 and 6 by 15 are the same thing because they are equivalent fractions again now it is easy to compare 5 by 15 and 6 by 15 so out of 5 and 6 which is greater 6 is greater now 5 by 15 is same as 1 by 3 and 6 by 15 is same as 2 by 5 so we can say that 1 by 3 is less than 2 by 5. So in this case also the concept is not difficult but it is just that you need to convert both the fractions into equivalent fractions such that the two equivalent fractions are like fractions. So now it is it has become simple. Once you have converted it into like fractions then your job gets simpler. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.